Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 6. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 26 of Book 6. Now in this proposition, we start with a simple parallelogram, and we draw another parallelogram, making for sure that the angles are equal and that the two vertices are on the same spot. And this proposition states that if we have these two parallelograms, then the diagonal or the diameter of the parallelogram AEFG will be collinear with the diameter of ABCD. Now we're going to prove this by assuming that this condition is not true. So let us assume that the diameter of ABCD is actually this line a, H, C, and with a little bit of imagination, let's assume that this A, H, C is actually a straight line. So what we're going to do is we're going to extend the line G, F until it hits the diameter of A, C through the point H, and then from H, we're going to draw a line parallel to A, G to the point K. So now we have a new parallelogram a, K, H, G. Now, if we look at this parallelogram A, G, H, K, it's on the diameter of the larger parallelogram. So according to Proposition 24, if you have a parallelogram that is on the same diameter as a larger parallelogram, then they are similar, and as such, D, A to A, B will be equal to G A to A K. Now let's look at the original parallelogram we drew, the smaller one. Part of the conditions of drawing this was that it was to be similar to the larger parallelogram. So because it's similar, by definition, D A to A B will be equal to G A to A E. Now let's look at these two equalities. We have that GA to AK is equal to DA to AB, but DA to AB is also equal to GA, GA to AE. So in other words, these two ratios are equal. So we have GA to AK is equal to GA to AE. However, if we have this GA GA on both sides, what it means is that K, AK is equal to AE, or for whatever reasons, I wrote it inversely here, that AE is equal to AK. So I have here that AE is equal to AK, but of course, in the manner in which I drew it, it is obvious that AE is less than AK, and that is our contradiction. And with this contradiction, we can then say that we have our parallelogram that has a common angle inside of a larger parallelogram. These two parallelograms are similar because that's the way we've drawn them. And if those conditions are met, then the diameter of the smaller parallelogram will be collinear with the di diameter of the larger parallelogram. And that's it.